Welcome back to Beltmatic. In between episodes I've been busy, I copied a whole bunch of the factories that we built last time. So let's go over to the start here. So this is the start, this will handle the 0 through 9 of it. This will handle the 10s, this will handle the 100s. This factory on the left will handle the 1000s, and it goes up into the millions. I'll do a quick pan through, but I've basically created this factory a whole bunch of times so that we can get into the millions. It is quite a bit of numbers and space taken up. But we just need to connect a few last things and we should be operational, making 12 full belts of any single number. Uh, we will not be... The first, the first upgrade we want to work on is this extractor level because we need this to be 12 full belts in order to get 12 full belts out of the numbers, out of the extractors. Right now we only have 10... So it's going to operate a little bit slowly at first until we get this number done, but we'll work on this first. So first up, we just need to connect the output of each factory here into the input of the next factory. So it adds all the results together. So we'll do that the whole way down. And then we will just wrap it around, put it in the hub, and we should be up and running. All right, everything's hooked up. Let's give it a go, see what happens. One of the downsides to this system is the pure scale of it means it's probably going to take a couple minutes from the time I select the number to the time it hits the hub, but we'll see. We're going to go after 201,818, get an extra belt going. So this will be an 8. We're going to work backwards, so I'm doing the number backwards. But we can basically just copy. Actually, let's copy. This. So this will be an 8, this will be a 1, this will be an 8, we've got 201,000, so this will be a 1, this will be a 0, this will be a 2, and the millions slot will be a 0. And that's the end of it. So now we just got to let the numbers flow and it's going to take some time for these all to get through the system. I decided to put this time lapse in here of the numbers filling the system. It's something that really only happens once during the design process. The belts are only empty for the first part of the design and then they're almost always have numbers on it from there on out. So it's kind of fun to watch them fill. I did have a problem with some of the corner belts I had put in incorrectly, so I had to go through and replace all those corners because I had them backwards. But then just came back here to watch it fill the system. It does take quite some time to fill, roughly six to seven minutes from the time you insert the number to the time that number gets to the hub. So it is quite a long time. We'll learn how to deal with that in a little bit. But just create some kind of fun numbers, a little diagonal pattern there, and then it straightens out and comes back into the diagonal when it makes the corner. So it's just filling the system now, and it'll take the turn to get over to the hub. You can see every, the whole system flowing, so it looks pretty nice. Rounds, rounds the final corner there, and then we are on the home stretch to get to the hub. So this should produce roughly 100 per second. So we can see as that number comes in, that number is going up and up. We're at 95 per second right now. Might break the 100 per second route. Yep, there we go, 100 per second of 201,818. So that upgrade should not take long. But we can check this. This is climbing very nicely, so it should be at 20,000. In just a couple minutes, it did take nearly almost 10 minutes to get from the time I started it to the time I got to the hub. Granted, there was a little hold up there with some belts going the wrong way, but so it is going to take some time for the new book numbers to get to the hub because of the 
distance it has to travel. So we'll definitely increase his belt speed to help with that. Taking a look at the system, you can see all these gaps in the belt because we're not pulling 12 full belts out of an extractor right now. So hopefully we'll get that fixed pretty soon. This is backed up here, but that's because the adders are much more efficient than the rest of them. So there's definitely gaps in there. We will get that fixed as soon as we upgrade our extractors. We're almost there. It's only been running a minute or two since I got to the hub. So it is going to be, should be able to upgrade somewhat quickly. Okay, that number is complete. We got all the way up to 40,000 for the second upgrade. This should be the maxed out upgrade of 12 belts per extractor. But we, now we need 910,627, almost into the millions. So it should be simple, super simple to change this out now. We should just be able to cut this off and put this in here. So that's a seven. This needs to change to a... I have it written down. This changes to a two. This changes to a six. So super easy to change out numbers now. This changes it out to a zero. This changes to a 1. And this changes to a 9. So that should give us our new number. This should stay as a 0 because there's no millions. So it'll take a minute, well, several minutes for that to get to the hub. And then we will have maximum 12 belts and we'll see what our speed ends up. Right now we're hovering around, wrong one, around 98, 99 per second. That's with 11 extractors per belt or per number. So this should go up a little bit with 12 times. Nine should be well, 108 that I think we were at before. All right, we still have some holes in the belt. It's not quite full, but now we just unlock the upgrade here. This will max us out at 12 belts. So that is maxed out now. We can start working on this belt speed upgrade. That'll really help get the numbers to the hub faster since they have so long to travel. So we'll probably do work on that. Probably get this up to, I don't know, 12 per second. That would be 30 upgrades of this. But as we can see now, the holes are being filled on the belts. It is 12 full belts of numbers now. Once it works its way through the system, we should be producing 12 full belts of the requested number. All right, so what I've been doing is it's taking approximately six to seven minutes to get a new number. Once I create the new number till it gets to the hub, that's how long it takes to travel that distance. So what I've been doing is like this number here, I need 20,000, but I know in six minutes I'm creating roughly 40,000 every six minutes. So I can actually go ahead and start this, even though I don't have this delivered yet, I can go ahead and put this new number in knowing that this will be there by the time I get this number delivered. So we're gonna go ahead and change it out to 9635 and see if this is already at 20,000 by the time that number gets there. Let's check the upgrades. This is almost at 21,000. I'm currently delivering or assembling 9635, but it is not at the hub yet. And this is still ticking up, so we're gonna easily accomplish this by the time this gets here. So knowing I, I just gotta work 40,000 ahead, that will account for the time it takes for the new number to get to the hub. So once I'm within 40,000 of the number I want to be, I can go ahead and switch it out. So that'll help speed it along and I won't lose those seven to 10 minutes waiting for the new number to arrive at the hub. Cause you can see this is already 
here and we're not even delivering 9635 yet so I can even probably adjust it up to like 50,000 I'm within 50,000 of my target so I'm just now getting to the 9635 being delivered this has basically stopped ticking up but we have 55,000 out of 21,000 but that's because this number is going to move over to here so hopefully I allowed for enough there and now you can see the 9635 is starting to be delivered so once we max this out at 17.5, we'll hit, basically I'll add these three up, so it'll be basically 75,000 of 9.635 that we want. So about halfway through that number, I will switch to the next number, and it should basically level out, and we won't have to wait for transportation time to the hub. And as you can see here, everything is full now. All the belts are full, there's no holes in the belts. So we are delivering 12 full belts of numbers. It's not going to register at 108 per second until it uh, clears out the system from the previous number. But we're still even over 100 per second while we're waiting for that to clear out. So, And that's just going to go up as we increase the belt speed. I built my factory to go up to belt speed 12 per second, which is roughly 30 upgrades to the belt. All right, so I just upgraded it to 9.2 per second up here. You can see now I need 22k here, and this is probably going to be 28, so that would be 50,000. So basically I can go ahead and start producing 4219, and by the time the belt clears out, because I am delivering them at 109 per second now, so by the time the, belt, the new number gets to the belt, I will have delivered the required 50,000 of... 9635. So I'm going to try it and see what happens. So we're delivering 4,219 now. It st stopped at 56.7 thousand. That gives us roughly 33,000 extra. So as long as this number is not above 33, which I don't think it will be, we should be good to go. All right, so we could actually move to setting up the next number now, 2848, because we'll, by the time it gets there, this, these 4219 will be delivered. We'll need roughly 30,000 plus another 10, so 40 to 50,000 of this. So we could start setting up this number now. I also was able to save two of the MAMs that we created earlier. So I've just been setting those to work on the hub number. I guess this number doesn't really matter. I think I've unlocked everything I need to unlock. But might as well plug away at it to see how high we can get it. And then I'll just work on getting these belt upgrades up to 12 per second. But that's going to do it for this episode. I think that'll be the series because there's not really much more I can do. I'm creating 12 full belts of a number at a time. Uh, if we really wanted to, we could create a second one of those and put it down here and deliver another 12 per second and fill up the hub. That would max out the hub. I guess that's all that would be left to do. The rest of the upgrades are just infinite, so there's no end to them. So, appreciate watching. We'll see you next time.